even if you don't want to combine them all together, like to see all the dimensions uh, at a single report, it's very challenging and cumbersome to, to try to uh, constantly switch between the different views and then see just uh, one aspect at a time. How do you get more data out of ad platform APIs? Hello and welcome to Growth Masterminds. My name is John Katsir. Data is an increasingly prompted commodity in the age of privacy. Bringing as much data into your BI system as possible is also critical for making the smartest optimizations, allocations, all that stuff. But there's challenges to that. To explore those challenges and a new solution, we're chatting with a singular product manager, Mayan Shore. Welcome, Mayan. All right, thank you. Hey, you've taken the time. I know it's late in your day. Really do appreciate it. Everybody wants the most data they can get out of their campaigns. What are the blockers from getting that? Many of the advertising platforms, they have restrictions on the number of different breakdowns that you can view simultaneously, right? Uh, simultaneous, simultaneously, I mean, within the single report. So it creates challenges for the marketers, like we need the more holistic view of their uh, performance. Uh, the main reason is, uh, I believe it's uh, the privacy regulation and restrictions. So they cannot give you like the, uh, uh, as many as breakdown as you want at once, right? For example, uh, in Facebook, uh, you can't really see breakdowns for age and gender together with the platform mm-hmm. um, and, uh, and placement. And in Google Ads, you can analyze keywords uh, uh, alongside uh, uh, breakdowns by country. So each and every network has its own like a uh, 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 breakdown set, uh, uh, breakdowns combination that they allow you to to view to get to see together the same report. What's the impact for marketers? What's the impact when you can't get those breakdowns? Yeah, um, even if you don't want to combine them all together, like to see all the dimensions uh, at a single report, it's very challenging and cumbersome to to try to uh, constantly switch between the different views and then see just uh, one aspect at a time. Uh, Mm -hmm. And it really likes to disrupt the workflow. Uh, Mm -hmm. So it's mainly mainly this. uh, And also you just need to rely on one default to break down and make all your assumptions and next steps decision based on that. And you don't want to do that, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So... Is that just for the API? Is it also the on-platform dashboards? Is it anytime you want to take data out of those platforms? Uh, it's the same limitation. Yeah, even in Facebook or in uh, TikTok, Snapchat, uh, when you go into the uh, uh, reporting platform and you want to uh, export some uh, uh, report, uh, you will have the same limitations as you have in the API. Uh, it will like actually prevent you from selecting uh, more than uh, one or two breakdowns depending on the network. So yeah, the same one, wow. same limitations. Wow. Okay. Okay. So you've got a way of actually getting more breakdowns. Talk about that. Yeah. So in the feature is called multiple breakdowns. And uh, with this, fe- with this feature, we saw the operational overhead that sh- you, you should do to add like additional breakdowns to your data. So you don't, you don't need to switch between them all the time. So we're taking care of the operational part of it. And we give you the, uh, the possibility to select more breakdowns that you want to add and, and then see them at a different data set. We still have some default breakdowns that we select for each and every networks, but if you want, we have all, all the rest of them, almost everyone, we, we're constantly adding more and more breakdowns. And you can select the secondary breakdown that you want to add, and we will add this to your uh, data via the, the ATL and the API. Uh, so you can see whatever breakdown is relevant for you, select it, and we will add it for you. It's important to say that we're not like creating any new combinations that are not allowed that, that I mean, we're not like generating any new data uh, that mm-hmm. does not exist uh, from the networks. We just add it for you and we solve the uh, operational uh, overhead that it brings. So you can easily access it. And if you want, uh, some of the teams have, some of the uh, companies that we work on have a, a big like uh, a BI and, and, and analysts that can take this up and maybe uh, manipulate it somehow uh, using statistical uh, uh, models or uh, interpolation to complete like a uh, uh, different breakdown. But we just give you uh, easy, easy access to all of the possible breakdowns. So now that you've got access to more of those breakdowns, 
what does that do for you as a marketer? What are you able to do that you couldn't do before? Uh, what impact does it have? The main impact I will put all of it under like a, a granular control. Um, it means that it really helps marketers to identify any hidden trends that they didn't see before. Uh, because they now have access to their uh, additional breakdowns, something that maybe they missed in the basic and default uh, uh, breakdowns. Uh, it could help them to maybe fine tune their targeting strategies uh, if you're using like a DMA or isn't gender. So it can help you like to very understand, like to reach the right audience. And if you uh, um, invest your time to drill down into campaign data using the different breakdowns, then it, you can really like measure the performance in in greater accuracy. So uh, uh, it is very valuable and there are a lot of clients are really like, yeah, I find it useful and uh, enjoying it. This is why we keep adding that because everyone, everybody wants. So if you see some interesting things that might change your targeting, that might change your allocations, that might change your creative actually. If you decide that, if you, if you learn that something is different about, you know what, we're actually targeting this group, but this subgroup is much more interested in what we're messaging. We might change our creative to really target that is that something that you might do exactly that it really leads me back to a, a new breakthrough that we've added recently uh, which related to targeting it's age and gender right uh, sometimes using age and gender you can identify like uh, unexpected audiences that you that you maybe missed before uh, uh, there are like some common examples that uh, uh, for example classic board games Recently, like uh, finding success among Gen Z, which can be like uh, maybe surprising to to some of the people. And uh, uh, there's a lot of things that you can get about uh, uh, social casino games. Uh, uh, for example, more women are interested in this, so it can really like uh, help you to uh, 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 to decide how you're going to use your creative correctly, so they will be accessible enough and will be appealing to the right audience. Super interesting. If you were using this as a marketer, how frequently would you look at this? Would you look at it? You probably wouldn't look at it daily. You probably wouldn't look at it weekly. Would you look at it monthly? What, what would you do? I think that the, maybe the correct, if, if we're talking on creative specifically, I would create it. I would like to look at it maybe, uh, I think weekly or daily or might be like a, a very not a, a in a, not enough for that, but maybe monthly can be useful yeah. for that. Although we have plans to use this like on a daily basis. Right. And so just in terms of the new breakdowns, um, like seeing what age group, gender, maybe regional distribution you have that is really responding to your messaging, would you do something similar, something like monthly? I would say yes, but we do have clients that want to say like if their campaign is uh, uh, reaching the uh, the target, uh, the expected like target, like uh, even on real time, like on mm -hmm, day. So mm -hmm. it depends on what exactly they want to, to check. If it's like just as a, from a UA uh, perspective that maybe uh, you are using it more fre frequently, but we do have a uh, creative team that like maybe sometimes do a more, uh, um, yeah, summary meetings of their creatives and what meetings are working like uh, uh, best, like in a more general uh, mm -hmm. view of it and not just like uh, associated with specific uh, campaigns or specific facts. So it depends who you the data. It probably also has, a, uh, probably also having a big impact on that is what your spend velocity is. If you're spending a ton and you're getting a lot of data, a lot of time, you're going to look at it more frequently. If you're not spending as much for different campaigns and you're probably taking a bit more time there. That makes a ton of sense. That's super interesting. There's more data. That's better. You can make better decisions. Anything else that we missed? Um, we've also added the uh, DMA breakdown, which is also uh, something that we see uh, that more and more uh, apps clients are using, especially if you're a delivery or taxi app, then uh, maybe the country breakdown is not relevant for you if you're working just like in specific countries. So country is not relevant for you. And Sometimes we see these clients trying to manage this with some custom dimensions or like putting the uh, the uh, uh, DMA name inside the campaign name and trying to do all these hacks. But it's important to know that this data is, is exists, at least from the big networks. And we do have it. It's just like not by default that they uh, need uh, uh, in 
most of the times to enable multiple feature and ask for this uh, breakdown as well. So it's important which to is know actually, that you also have which this. Is, which is actually great information because if it's available, then you don't have to put it in a custom dimension. You don't have to include it in the, in, in the name of the campaign or the creative or something like that. You can use that space for something else that might be valuable mm -hmm. and you can keep exactly. that. That makes sense. It's really funny to be hearing DMA because that's not something that, I'm going to I'm going to say a couple of years ago we would have heard that much about in terms of mobile marketing because the types of things that you're doing a lot of mobile marketing on DMA didn't seem to matter as much. I don't know, it feels so old school. It feels like old school uh print advertising or or mailers even or something like that. But obviously mm -hmm. it matters now for local hyper local services. Yeah. Uh, it became a thing and it became like a real need uh, for specific uh, genres that uh, that we see. And it's important that we do have this data. You don't need to do uh, manipulation and like uh, to use any uh, um, uh, normalizations layer in order to, to achieve this uh, breakdown. Okay, so you can get different breakdowns. You can get more data. That's great. How do you know what you really need? How do you know which breakdowns to really, hey, I want that? Yeah, so I think that you should think of uh, two main points when you when you see all the uh, different breakdowns and you need to select which one, right? So first, you need to be aligned with your marketing goal. For example, I mean, you need to understand what are the most important dimensions for you. If you uh, only uh, run campaign in one country, like, uh, uh, right? Um, I mean, we just discussed on the DMA breakdown. If you just run campaign in one country, so maybe that country breakdown is not relevant for you, right? Maybe you, you would want to take something else. And the second one is to identify uh, what are the major factors that are influencing your marketing costs right now. For example, if you currently just optimize your audience, if this is your focus for now, so maybe you want to take something like age and gender, uh, um, like the demographic uh, uh, audience. So this is also something that you need to to, um, to consider. And um, go back to a singular customers, then uh, we still have all the tools, the custom dimensions, uh, and uh, the stuff that will help you like complete all the missing data that uh, uh, you cannot get from uh, uh, just regular cost uh, campaigns uh, data. So just take into consideration uh, all three of them. We are always like happy to help you decide uh, which one will be the best for you. Excellent. Mayan, thank you so much for this time. Thank you for sharing. Really do appreciate it. Happy to share.